glad you sent that message on YouTube. And then I did see your request come through and I got your other email. So, so you had done something to unintentionally, which you think might have hurt the baby and you're worried about it. Hmm. I'm just pausing for a moment. I'm just exploring the way this energy makes me feel. For me to do a session for you, my role here is to help you release fears. Because the last thing you want to do is create worry. Everything that takes place is for all the right reasons. And so just in reading your message, you, obviously we don't, we don't, nobody wants to trip down some stairs. Nobody wants to unintentionally hurt their, their unborn child, but everything, it has a plan and is happening for all the right reasons. So you have to embrace your life. You have to trust in what you're being guided to experience and to explore in your life. So I'm going to go ahead and just relax here because I do feel called to explore this with you and if you want to do anything additional we certainly can okay and just tuning in here relaxing i just feel inspired to really slow down your energy too That'll help clear your mind because we got to put positive energy back into you because things get really tight when we feel worried and it closes our hearts off. Okay, the first thing they're showing me, this is really interesting. It's, it looks like a bicycle wheel and it's going round and round and round in a circle but um, it's going towards me so it's circulating towards me and it's in this like a pink colored space and it looks like lots and lots and lots of moving pedals and it's kind of like a lava lamp type thing so it's sort of um it's flowing it's kind of like a flowing substance like a thick liquid and it's pinkish colors but then there's this very fast spinning thing <sighs> spinning towards me, but it never really moves. It just stays in place. And this does have um, a lot to do with both your heart and your sacral chakra area. Okay. <sighs> they want to show me that this wheel, it's, it's black and it's like, it's like it's dirty in a really clean pink place. And this is bringing you a lot of tears because that wheel shouldn't be in there. And you need to get it out of there. It's almost like a, a pin as well. Like you could put a pin on your shirt and support a movement. So it has a sharp part that kind of goes through the fabric and then it attaches to your shirt. It also kind of, uh, I don't know why, it, there's, a, there's a bit of a sharp feeling to it and it's something that you wear. That's um, the energy shows me that like this, okay? I will say that is ridiculously painful. It's, it's just like really sharp pain. And it's not really a big, it's like a, the length of what would be a pen, like maybe an inch um, of a sharp pain. This is creating so much stress here. A lot of sadness in the face too. A lot of sensitivity. A lot of anger as well. A lot of anger. We're just releasing out all that stress, okay? All right, this is really disturbing, okay? So I reach my hands in where the baby is, which is both this beautiful pink-colored space and then this strange bicycle wheel. Ah. 
it's all mixed together. And when I reach my hands and um, just to touch the energy here, it just like bursts, like a bag just popped and all this liquid comes spewing out. And it just, it's like something so wrong is happening here. Like it's just like something absolutely wrong is happening here. That shouldn't have happened. Like that, that type of energy and the type of thinking keeps happening in my mind. There should be, um, it should be put together. It should be um, solid. It shouldn't be so vulnerable as that. I allow this event to take place because again part of it is you coming to terms with this whatever this is about because you strengthen things when you trust things get we weaker when you worry too So this is like a look at the worst case scenario. Suddenly the um, bag of waters pops and now you're giving birth and the baby is not nine months, for instance. It's like a total worst case scenario type um, image here and the reaction to that. But my spirit guides are saying that this worst case scenario, we need you need to just energetically desensitize to that because you're always going to worry about it Unless we can energetically desensitize you to it, it'll help bring you back to a place of trust, no matter what happens, okay? You have to trust and you have to choose love. Man, you are so full of sorrow in your eyes. And I do, I feel crampy. Like, um, I do feel so crampy. Uh, I didn't know on what um, level or what direction um, this would be going in. <sighs> For instance, sometimes people feel like um, they didn't know they were pregnant and then they had a couple nights where they went out and drank a lot with their friends and now they're worried how that might have affected the baby, things like this. And... This is, this is quite painful. This is, this does not feel like that type of situation. I keep seeing a really sharp pin, um, like a, like one inch long, like the type of pin that you would wear on a shirt. And it just, it just like, it sticks into there and it, it just, it's, it hurts so freaking bad. So I'm going to do some things to relax that. By the way, you're far more desensitized to that worst case scenario. And you're starting to work with me, okay? It's kind of like um, when you're in a shock effect, um, you need someone to talk to you to help you through what you can't even cope with, right? That's why you're in shock. So I'm helping you. I'm helping your energy body to work with me here. We're not going to even go there with worry. We're not even going to go there with worry because we don't have to. So I'm just continuing to help your energy bodies just work with me here and helping them to relax and desensitize because, man, you're like super loud here. You're super loud. All right, I'm going to try and remove this sharp pain, okay? This is really vulnerable. Everything has gone back to the way it was and I'm sticking my hands into your uterus area like I had originally done it and instantly burst and this just event happens. Worst case scenario, okay? And I'm sticking my hands again. Everything is where it should be. But this sharp pin, it's like going to pop a balloon. This makes me cry. It's just like, it, like my eyes feel so intensely emotional, like just crying and weeping. I uh, touch your face and I just, I just gently stroke your hair and I hold you. And this other part of me is down here. I'm going to remove this gently. So I'm just holding you and comforting you right now, okay? This is really loud and this is very much so on the severe level of, um, of 
concerns, okay? I can feel how loud your concerns are and they feel valid to me. Man, your whole, um, the whole structure of your uterus area, all this is, it's like, it's, it's, there's so much stress in here. Because when I slowly pull this pin out, it, it reacts. Um, it reacts on such a loud level. It, it acts like it's, it, it can't hold on like um, your like bag of waters type of thing. It's just like it wants to just um, pop and, and try this again. Try this over again. Start, start over again. It keeps um, showing me this. And it's doing this out of instinct. It's doing this like your uterus is doing this out of a survival instinct. Like um, it's, it's thinking that this is the correct thing to do. It is the best thing for mother and baby um, to just wipe the slate clean and we'll try this again kind of thing. Because there's a bit of a trauma going on in your uterus. Like, I mean, not even a bit. It's like really loud. I just touch the baby and I sing the baby a song and a little me just goes on in and holds the baby for a while and I amplify the sound of your calm and beautiful heartbeat to just nurture and soothe this beautiful little baby. And I bring Mother Mary energy in and she becomes a part of your womb. There's still a very sharp um, thing, but it's a far reduced, far reduced. So continuing to soothe, continuing to relax. Continuing to help your uterus feel safe, comforted, nurtured. This is quite a dizzying effect in my mind, but that's how we're, we're taking a lot of extremely loud noise. We're bringing it into a hush. And it's um, going from one extreme to the other extreme, so it's a little bit dizzying, okay? I'm putting my finger uh, over th where that pen was removed, because it's like a scratch that's still there. So you can feel where it got cut is kind of what if it it's just like a tiny little incision. I'm just putting my finger there. Now I'm going more, I'm going deeper. This is the physical aspects of you, okay? But it's also very much so on the energy side, which is gonna absorb more into the physical side. I'm going to move deeper into what would be defined as the more dense physical side, okay? This is still working your physical side, but we're gonna go even deeper now. First, we gotta clear out this um, energy and bring that into balance, and then I can move in deeper. So I'm going into your actual physical body here, like your bones, your actual muscle tissues, your organs, um, your lungs, your heart, your brain, your eyeballs. Like I'm literally going straight into your physical body. I'm literally sending information through every part of your physical body. in order to relax it. I can tell it's working really well. Tears, peaceful tears are, are coming out here. I'm 
I tell all the aspects of your physical body how wise and how wonderful and how smart they are. You have such good blood. You have such strong bones. You are so healthy. You are so strong. And I'm really filling your uterus with really positive, very supportive, loving vibrations and sending these vibrations to and to your baby as well. Really calming everything down. Creating I am safe. I am supported. I am strong. I am at peace. I'm helping to strengthen what is like the bag of waters. Just I'm sending an information that encourages it to trust in how strong it already is. That that what trauma has taken place has been alleviated and released. So it can now relax. It can trust in itself again. And your body can trust in itself again. And your mind and your emotions can trust in your body again. In this beautiful process. I will say your energy field is extremely relaxed. This is really, really positive. I feel like this is actually a perfect session for what you're requesting to neutralize that trauma to speak to your body and your energy bodies to help the heal that that sharp pain i'm not feeling that now and to nurture your baby and to nurture you to reset the energy balance All right, Anita, this is a super good start, and I'm really glad you reached out. I'm really glad you reached out. Mm. Thank you so much for this very special experience. It means a lot to me. All right, I'm giving you some more hugs, okay? All right. Take care for now. Bye.